Hi guys, it's Amy and you who found Amy Loves Crochet. Thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate you clicking on my video today. I wanted to share with you a blanket that I have completed. Um, I don't generally show it, show you things while I'm still working on them, but in this case I did. Um, what I used is this Worsted 8 yarn by Hirschner's, and they've got quite a few different lines of these giant 8 ounce balls. Um, a lot, a lot of different colorways and different themes. Some are solid, some are stripes. You can get some in a group, like a group of four that's got maybe one variegated and some stripes to, and then some solids to go with it, that kind of thing. So if you haven't seen Hirschner's yarns before, go ahead and give them a, a check out because, check them out because uh, they've got quite a bit of different uh, colorways that you can find this yarn in. Anyway, this is one called Star Spangled, and um, I do believe that this is a discontinued color now, but they've always got something else, a new a new Americana colorway. You know, we're not going to stop creating that red, white, and blue, right? So this is a pattern. Um, I did show you the blanket that I started. I started at Memorial Day, and I showed it to you uh, at 4th of July. So here we are at Labor Day. It was That was my goal, was to have it completed before Labor Day. And today's actually the 25th or 26th of August, so I'm quite pleased that I got it finished. Um, and when I started to make it, you know, you know me, I just start chaining away, and when it feels good, I'll turn and start the pattern. This one is a little bit long. Um, if I were doing it again, of course, if I had to, I want to do that magic erase and just undo this work, erase that, and attach it over here. <laughs> um, so it is a little bit long and a little bit narrow. Um, it was suggested that I could add some white to it, and I could have, but I really like to keep yarns the same if I can at all. So I didn't really feel the need to go out and buy white yarn to put onto this. Um, and after I put uh, the single crochet border on, I was really quite pleased with it. So anyway, I'm rambling. So this is um, two double crochet rows done at the same time. I am in love with doing this. I've put tutorials out with double crochet as well as the half double crochet. But what you do is you just you yarn over and you get extra loops pulled in and it you complete two rows of double crochet at one time so one pass creates two rows and so your um, project grows quite quickly and then as you can see I just added a single crochet border on it there and it just really cleaned the edges up very very nicely so I wasn't sure how long it was you know I, I always like to think oh you're either making yourself a singular blanket or you're making like a throw that you know you and your hubby or your partner or whoever you're going to be sharing a blanket together this one is a little bit short for that and kind of long so i decided instead to think of it as just a wrap um a single person wrap this is going to be awesome you know you could I don't know where you would go walking around like a scarf, but it's a big fat scarf if you want it to be. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, but it's, you know, people go out and do things in the summertime and sometimes it's still warm in the evening and maybe other people just want Americana all year long. So I really enjoyed the blanket. This was my, um, I kind of made this up to be the one that sat next to my bed that you just kind of do mindlessly. Um, but then I had it, my goal to have it done by Labor Day, so then I kind of had to get cracking on it these last couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, so I used up three of these uh, giant eight ounce balls, and this is all that I have left. Now there was a little bit of the yarn that I used for um, a little video I put out last year at 4th of July that were our little stars, so that you can make a little decoration type thing. Um, so, But other than that, they were solid balls. So that's what I have so yeah it's super long I really think that you know anybody who likes Americana stuff would enjoy having this on the back of the couch you know maybe it's an RV accompaniment so you're sitting around the campfire a little bit I don't know everybody's got different uses for wraps and throws and things like that so yay I got that finished so surprise, I've got another little something to put on this video as well. Um, generally when I am looking for patterns to work on and share with you guys, I'm looking for maybe something that's a little bit older, kind of bring it back to life, something maybe it's been forgotten about. Uh, I generally don't work on things that are kind of current. 
Um, it, Cause if I see them out there, you see them out there as well. So I don't want to kind of work on that same thing that everybody's looking at right now. Um, but this one was the exception to that rule. I was obsessed. As soon as I saw the video on YouTube, I knew I had to make this item. And um, what she used was a super bulky uh, cotton yarn. And I don't have any size sixes or I don't even know what size it was, but just jumbo, super bulky, whatever. I don't have any cotton like that. All the cotton that I have and cotton that I wanted to work with is, um, I love this cotton and it's just a four, it's a size four. So what I decided to do was double up on this. I'm looking for my little four. Yeah, it's four. <laughs> um, so what I did was double up on it. I used four skeins and I love it. Um, I definitely want to make another one. It worked up really, really quickly. And this is one of those that once you make one and you see where you want to make the adjustments to make another one with those adjustments is going to be easy breezy. So I am really super excited to show you. Ta-da! Look how cute! <laughs> So the only yarn that I had enough of was this Aqua Ombre. And um, I think it is a little bit small for my liking. There are different sizes, obviously. And like I said, you could make adjustments to it as you see fit. Um, the sleeves fit great. And it's a cute little crappie size if I were crop top wearing kind of person. <laughs> Um, I did start my collar up a little bit higher than she did. I think hers comes down here, so it's a little bit bigger. Um, but, so there's my little collar. And the sleeves have a cute little cuff on them, but it's super light and airy. And um, yeah, I thought it was super cute. I thought this was a win. So yeah. I really enjoyed making that and it worked up super quick so if you have seen that video out there give it a shot I'll link it below obviously and I don't want to say obviously all the time I'm sorry about that <laughs> um, but I thought it was really really cute and yeah wanted to share with you that I'd doubled up a four and made it instead of using the super bulky that she did I thought that you know not all of us have super bulky cotton um, I don't see it a lot at the store maybe I'm not looking for it uh, but I liked the idea of doubling up on my Thor worsted weight and thought that this was a really great use of this clearance yarn that I got. So yep, four skeins and I got this cute little crop top. Crop cover up at that, you know? Yay! So give this pattern a shot if you, you know, if you haven't already. Double up on a couple of cotton strings and I used a five point millimeter hook and there you go. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed sitting with me today. Have a wonderfully blessed day. Have a safe holiday. And please come back and see me again. Thank you. Bye-bye.